Okay. Thank you very much for your time, everybody. Um, good day, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on what time zone you are in. Uh, my name is Tommy Lee. I'm the VP of Sales for North America of Fanville. I wanted to spend a little bit of time today giving you a very brief overview of our upgrades to our H-Series IP phones. And if you can imagine, the H-Series just really stands for our hospitality solution. And one of the things that you're beginning to realize is that in most hospitality solutions, usually you have one main phone and then one sort of, I would say, passive phone that's just there that you could just to, for guest convenience so that if you happen to be in that room, you can just pick it up. But as you will see, um, you know, we call it feature creep, where all of a sudden lots of new features are really putting into the phone, which used to make a very passive SIP phone a far more active phone that could be put into many different applications, which I will share with you later on today. But before I get into that, let me do some housekeeping. Um, first thing I wanted to point out is for those who, who um, have the clients, uh, you have a handout section on your web uh, portal if you signed in. And in the handouts is a soft copy of the presentation so that feel free to go into the handouts and you can download it now in the middle or after the presentation for your own future and personal reference. In addition to that, um, as you, if you have questions that arise during the, my presentation, please by all means put your questions in the question box. I'll be more than happy to address that at the end of the, uh, of, of, of the presentation. So given those two items, uh, <clears throat> please feel free to, to uh, you know, sit back, enjoy, let's be interactive as much as possible, and let's get this thing started. Okay, for many of you who has followed uh, my previous Fandle presentations, the solution uh, spectrum really consists of four categories that really define us and makes us differentiated from a lot of the competitors that we go into. Now, for those who aren't familiar with Fanville, we really provide four levels of solutions. First is our commercial IP phones, which is really listed on top of here. And they contain anywhere from really low level entry to very high end, um, you know, how we call button centric type of phones. And, we do that because we recognize that there's a lot of demand for people that are upgrading from the previous generation of phones that they were used to having very convenient features and being able to push these buttons so as a result you'll find that that's a very uh, centric feature that are on most of our phones as well in addition to our commercial phones you'll also find that we provide sip door access units and many people who that aren't familiar with our technology you may ask yourself what is the, the meaning of SIP? And that just stands for Session Initiation Protocol. And what that means is, is that if it just creates a basic standard so that if you know something is a SIP endpoint and that you happen to have a SIP-based PBX, you know that there is a great level of compatibility between the PBX as well as the actual, as well as the actual switch that you're connecting the phone to. It's kind of like car tires where very much once you sort of get the right size, you know very well that that tire will fit on any particular car as long as it fits to that standard. Um, in addition to the uh, door access units and intercoms, we also have a set of hospitality phones. That's really the focus of what I'm going to be talking about today. Um, in this hospitality phones, we issued really one monotone color, which is black, and we've added some little level of excitement to these phones, that as well as brought in some nice feature enhancements to this set as well. But what really ties it all in is that FanDuel provides to all partners the ability to manage all of these solutions under one interface. So not only do we have a redirection service that, that gives uh, our partners the ability to sort of claim any of these units on their own and provide auto configuration, but we also provide a management solution. You know, not every PBX that are, exists in the marketplace out there contains a tool that allows people to automatically provision and upgrade templates onto the phone so that you can have, you know, auto provisioning on these phones so that you can go ahead and spend a minimal amount of time on site to deploy one, 10, 100, or 1,000 phones if need be. Okay. 
So that's where we kind of differentiate. And for anybody who wants to, you know, ask any questions, feel free to move on. So now let's focus in on the hospitality program. I'm going to go over uh, several contents. First, it's just going to be really just a quick overview of the H series IP phones. And this is the, the phone set that we target for hospitality units. Next, I'll just highlight some of the feature sets of our H2 units, as well as the application scenarios, which I think you might find pretty interesting as, uh, as we move forward. Part one, let's just go into it. <clears throat> One of the things that you've noticed for many uh, partners out there who have actually deployed our hospitality phones, we've added a different color. Uh, one of the things that you'll find is that very often a lot of these boutique hotels or maybe even some of these large hotels may find sort of, a, it's a very, very subjective scene. They spend thousands and thousands of dollars to go ahead and be able to find just the right touch to give their room the right feel. Well. You know, a black phone doesn't always cut it, so we've gone ahead and actually put together a white phone and a very well slim design as well. We actually have three separate lines, so it's very, very simple. We have a very basic phone, which is quite honestly one of the major enhancements that we have done to the H series, and I'll talk a little bit about that. But in addition to the H3 phones, which is here, and the H5 phone, uh, they're really both of these phones are very similar with a very with, with, a, with a very critical differentiation between these two. On the H5, which is our top of the line model, we actually have a three and a half inch color display. What are the advantages of having a color display? Well, for those who have actually deployed into the hospitality market, you're gonna actually find that many of the existing phones uh, have a template that has been customized to fit that specific hospitality logo, their address, their speed dials, where they're located. The good news about putting a display here is that you can actually download and actually upload a, in essence, a generic phone that could be used in multiple hospitality units because all the unique features have been uploaded on the display. So then the system integrator or the person who wants to install the system could actually upload this image and that saves them a lot of time and depending on how much they have to really sort of bid for that particular project, which is great. It adds a lot of flexibility in being able to assign the concierge key, the ability to call the front desk, et cetera. So it's a nice slim design that, that, that's available in two different colors. Now, for those who want to still settle for the classic look of the template, the great news is that because we don't have a display, we can pass the savings on to you and you can work along with our partners as well as Fanville themselves to really do the classic download the templates. But feature wise, both of these are really uh, basically the same phone. And the great news is that all of these sets can be managed by our FDMS, which is the Fanville device management system that can manage not only these hospitality phones, but you might find a project that integrates the door entrance as well as the commercial phones and have them all done in one unit. Now, a big feature set of this presentation itself is our H2. We're calling it the H2U series. If you notice in our commercial phones, our U series is really our latest release that we came out with January of 2020. And what you'll find here is that not only have we made uh, just a black phone, but we also made a white phone. And I'll talk a little bit more about the differences between this phone and the other phone. Now, to be frank, even though size-wise, these phones might be what we classify as a slimline phone, it actually contains just as many features as we do in the big desk set units. And let me go into the details uh, beginning on the next slide. Now let's just talk a little bit about the H5 and the H3 white. Even though they are white color, they're available in two colors. And one of the things you might notice is that there is a USB port on either one of these um, uh, units that you see here. Keep in mind that that USB port is, is sort of there for being able to charge units because for many hotels, you don't wanna have random guests coming into your room and being able to install any types of things that you don't want on your network. You know, it's a very, very public atmosphere. So, you know, it is there to, for people to kind of provide and being able to provide, provide a charging access unit. But one of the things we do is that we provide six programmable keys, which in the in the uh, soft set here, you can really define which keys you want to, to call in the front desk, to call 
the bell purse and room service, et cetera. And it comes with an indicator light and they all can really easily be managed. It really is a simple, you know, one line or one SIP line uh, telephone unit moving forward. Now let's talk a little bit more about the slimline unit. This is where we went from a major enhancement and I'll talk on the next slide on the comparisons between the, the current generation and the new generation, which is now in production and our channels are being filled as we go ahead and speak with this presentation. So one of the things we've done is we've actually upgraded lines from one SIP line to two different SIP lines. And there's a reason for that. We've also upgraded the fidelity of the slimline phone, which is the G722, and it also supports Opus. And for those who aren't familiar with Opus, it really is a dynamic codec that gives the end user the ability to be able to adjust to low bandwidth internet solutions versus high bandwidth internet solutions. And depending on what bandwidth or atmosphere that's provided to the, to the phone, it will automatically adjust and the goal is to prevent the loss of voice as you move forward. In addition to that, uh, for those who are non-hospitality, we also have 10 speed dial keys. Now, I doubt that guests may come in and actually program these things, but you could have uh, a hospital fill out or a, ho a hotel fill out, you know, these little features here and you can actually speed dial these keys right off the top and do it that way. But it also supports beyond that three-way conferencing calls. You know, we realize that, you know, many people have smartphones, but these things are provided as a convenience, but it also provides the ability to have, you know, POE adaptation, uh, increase in high fidelity, and being able to easily manage these solutions. And I'll get into a little bit about how we differentiate against other solutions and how we go ahead and manage these solutions moving forward. Now let's look ahead and compare our previous generation, which is our current generation. It's called the H2S, which is what we're selling to date. And now the new generation, which is the H2U. And if you notice in the previous generation, many of the hook switches, the indicator lights were really put on the actual base. So it really limit you to being able to manage your calls and to do a lot of these things on two separate units. What we've done is we've moved these two functions onto the actual handset itself so that you can really have full access to one unit and in addition to that being able to provide everything so that so that uh, you can have a one hand operation depending on what you do but the great enhancement is that it actually contains a speakerphone which then give you total hands-free access of being able to take your call and the good news is that this phone really here is in essence a really full function SIP commercial line that now fits into a lot of, uh, you know, space uh, saving type of applications. And I'll get into a little bit about that moving forward. Let's talk about some of the highlighted features of the slimline phone. You know, this sort of brings me back into the early 70s in which this was a really big thing. I remember when we used to have dial uh, keys along here before it went into push button. But what this really does is this is one of the rare push button phones that's actually SIP compliant. And I remember going back and when I handled the previous project, which I'll get into a bit later, there are lots of preformed desks that actually made accommodations for these slimline phones. But now that business has gone from an analog design into a SIP based design, they're not going to go ahead and change their, you know, thousands of dollars investment in all of these major desks that made the slimline phones to accommodate the phone. It's the other way around. Well, we recognize that and now we've gone ahead and put together a slimline phone to match these type of things. And because we realize that these phones can work in uh, the laboratory or the bathroom in many, in many uh, hotels, you know, they have to be resistant to high humidity. You know, many people go ahead and take hot showers and everything like that. So that's what we've actually done uh, with this design moving forward. Now let's talk about the keys. Now, not only does it actually support speed dial keys, as I mentioned earlier, but it actually has one programmable DSS key. Now that has a really big feature because not only can this phone be used as a hospitality phone and typically located in the bathroom, but it could also be used to really uh, address a, an entry unit so that once you verify that a caller is, is, is available in the front lobby of a building, you can actually use this key to really invoke 
uh, an opening of the door, for example, or have this thing line up on, on a wall so that it's not this major intrusive device that 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 you may want to be hidden or, or to be shown as is, but it really is something that kind of blends into the atmosphere and it contains a speakerphone as well as an activity light when you have any level of activity. So, you know, you have a lot of these convenient features put into one uh, slimline phone. Now, as I mentioned earlier, not only does it support the high-end codex, which is G722, but it also has echo cancellation. You know, we realize that once you open up uh, a speaker capability, you want to be able to really maximize and minimize the level of echo that you get. So a lot of the technology that's been incorporated into our speakerphone technology has also, also been incorporated into our hospitality, hospitality lines and giving you really a full feature, full rich uh, feature set for the small sets. Now let's talk about a major differentiator. We have what we call SIP hotspots. Now you may under you may think about why do we call these hotspots? Many people in the audience have smartphones, and when you have a smartphone and you happen to go into an area that doesn't have Wi-Fi connection or perhaps any sort of connection, depending on who you use as your carrier, you can use your phone as a SIP hotspot, whereby you can actually Take your phone and based on your carrier, you can actually use yours as a Wi-Fi hotspot so that if you happen to have, you know, an iPad or some other bigger device that requires a Wi-Fi connection, you can actually use your smartphone as a connection. Well, our hospitality phones as well as our commercial phones provide that hotspot capability. What are the advantages? The real advantage is that you can then be able to program one major phone in the room that say in the case of this presentation, it is assigned extension 8805. And when you have an outside phone dial in with 8805, you can actually declare this as the main phone and then have other phones that are also connected in the same room or perhaps in the same office be able to ring simultaneously. And the great news about that is you have one endpoint to one account so that from a manageability standpoint, you don't have to look at one room and manage three separate endpoints with the same extension, or perhaps assign different extensions to the same thing. You could have one main extension assigned to all of these points and have a little sub extension to each so that you can call individual ones if you want, but then they can all ring based on one extension. And that really provides a great asset. So say, for example, you can use a phone like this in a Soho environment, you know, many of us have learned how to work remotely these last couple of weeks. And then yet, you know, if you have an office and maybe very often you may not want to run to your office when you're grabbing something out of the fridge. Well, in this case, you could set up multiple phones as long as it's on the same network in many locations and be able to have both phones ring when your call or one extension rings and then the first one to pick up will automatically do that. You know, our phones will go ahead and make that feature very convenient and easy to do that for you. Now let's talk about application scenarios. Obviously, because it's a hospitality phone, you can go ahead and actually fit in the main room here, as well as being able to provide the slimline phone or any other phone for that matter in any auxiliary room that you have. Uh, the great news is that you can use that hotspot functionality to be able to provide a one room connection, but then within that one room, you have a lot of sub connections that makes manageability of that uh, office or, or, or that room far easier than many of the other solutions. Here's a very interesting application. I remember a couple of years ago when, when I encountered a, uh, an application where uh, in the case of airline ticket counters, you know, airline ticket counters spend thousands and thousands of dollars per counter and very often they've made accommodations to accommodate an analog line. Well, when you upgrade an airport from analog into the new SIP-based uh, functionality, they're not gonna go ahead and change their desk to accommodate your phone. In fact, it's just the very opposite. And one of the demands that I find very interesting is being able to fit the slimline phone that accommodated the old uh, cutout that fit in many of the very, very tight spaces that you see here so that you know, very often people didn't think of having a large TV screen and computers. Well, the great news is that these phones exist at a lot of these counters and it has generated quite a bit of interest in the marketplace in being able to fit this format into that line because now you can have speed dials, you can have 
you know, a function key, you could have lots of different things. And this counter provides one of many different applications. Of course, we could also list out campuses, hospitals, and buildings as well, so that all of these phones could actually list out and provide a very discreet uh, location for people to be able to pick up and be able to make SIP calls wherever they want to go. And as well, even in supermarkets, um, very often you find these counter spaces to be, uh, reduced, be reduced in size so that now a lot of these general two SIP account calls may not particularly fit a classic desktop application where you can fit a slimline phone in any particular line, giving you the speed dial keys as well as the a high def audio that many people want in a business as well as a speakerphone to say in a lot of different scenarios. Okay, so one of the last slides I just kind of wanted to briefly go over is the residence. Uh, very often, as you we show here, we actually have intercom and door phone where you could actually provide at the front desk. And very often when you have that, you have to provide a lot of endpoints within the residences. And this is one of the many different endpoints that you can we could provide as an option for you to provide a very, very discreet connection that doesn't take up a lot of wall space. We think the wall space is really catered to, to, for your pictures, but this slim line will be able to have that speed dial key that you can, once there, the guest is cleared, you could push a button and it'll open up the door to allow them to enter your home, et cetera. So these are a lot of the different applications, but in addition to these two, you also we also uh, be selling uh, plasma displays as well, so that if a person were to call your unit, you can couple these phones with a plasma unit that so that you can have a video connection uh, with the front lobby as well, okay? And that's really what I have today to really share with you uh, from a um, application standpoint. And this really a brief overview of the upgrades that we've made to our H series phones. Now, what I like to do is to really set aside some time to you know, address some of the questions that have been coming in. So what I'll do is spend the next few minutes to really address some of the questions. Um, uh, so one of the questions, how to call, uh, let me see. Okay, how to call via second SIP line at the thing. I think uh, what it will do is, is that you can actually, it'll actually respond to the actual the SIP line depending on, on the receiving of the call. But if you were doing an outbound call, I believe that when you connect to the phone, you may have to define which is really your outbound extension. So uh, that's a really good question. I'm gonna have to take that. Um, let me see. So I guess who raised that question? I guess uh, Greg. So what I'll do, Greg, is, is be able to really come back to you uh, with that, please go ahead and by all means, please send a lot of your questions that you also raised. I'll go ahead and take that as an action item, but you can send it to support at fanville.com or you can send it to me, which is tommy.lee at fanville.com. And I'll make sure that the people will go ahead and address your needs as well. Uh, as well. Uh, when you say loudspeaker means it's a speakerphone, that's correct. Yeah, when I say loudspeaker, that a speakerphone has actually been put into the phone itself. In fact, even with the um, with, uh, with 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 the thing uh, to make it a little more clearer. Whoops, sorry about that. When I say loudspeaker, yes, I did mean uh, a speakerphone. If you notice in these slimline phones here, you'll actually notice that that that's actually a speaker that allows you to have speakerphone capability. Uh, it happens to both in our slimline sets as well as our desk phones as well. But in the past generation at our H2S series, that didn't have a speakerphone. So up the upgrade, now we've added a speakerphone capability. Uh, uh, let me see. I'm not certain that a hotspot is useful. We could just put in a ring group. Of course, um, many people will decide to elect to put in a ring group and that's perfectly fine. This is just one of many different options that you may want to choose. Um, I recall back in the day where, where a lot of PBX is only allowed one extension or one phone per extension and won't allow multiple calls. But if you happen to have a switch that allows for a ring group, by all means, yeah, you pick whatever solution that fits possible. But in many often when you don't have that type of solution, 
and you're kind of stuck uh, given the solution that you have at hand, then this is another option that you might be able to sort of pick that might give you additional options. It's either that or you might want to switch your, switch your PBX if that's the case, if that becomes an option, but it's just one of many different solutions that you can go ahead and do uh, moving forward. Okay, let's see. Uh, I want to add a mobile phone. Okay, let me see. Okay, thank you. I appreciate your time. Thanks so much. I'll have one more. Uh, let's see. How loud is the back speaker? Is it loud enough to make hands-free answer in the case of a phone that's used in the kitchen? Well, yeah, I think I think how loud is the phone itself? Um, what you can do is if, if you're experienced in the actual slimline phone, you could pick it up, pick up the phone and then enable the speakerphone and you can put it down on the actual counter and then operate it via as a speakerphone that takes up a minimum of, amount of space. I don't have measurements in terms of dB and the amount of height and level. You know, what I would suggest is that you can go ahead and, and, and sort of pick one up and evaluate it to see whether or not that fits your application. I think in most cases, it will, it will probably do it. You know, uh, if you think about how can you fit a speakerphone and a smartphone, and yet many people do make, uh, you know, open speaker calls on their smartphone, and this you could actually have a much larger speaker than most uh, smartphone applications. So, others, and thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it as well. So anyways, that's kind of the summary of what I have today. Uh, thanks very much for your appreciation of my time, but I also want to turn around and extend my appreciation for your time as well. If you have any further questions on sales, uh, please by all means send an email to sales at fanville.com. Or if you have a technical support question, by all means send it to support at fanville.com. And I, I'm pretty sure we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, my name is Tommy Lee with Fanville. I want to thank you very much for your time. Uh, be safe out there, and I hope all is well. Okay? Thank you very much for your time, and have a good day. Bye-bye.